So why do we care so much if people are having symptoms when they're standing? The reason we pay a lot of attention to it is because this system, we're going to call it the neurocardiovascular system. So it's how does my brain control my heart and vasculature to direct blood flow through the body. The reason that we look at it when people are upright is because it is the most vulnerable when we're upright. If you think about it, we're one of the only things on the planet that stands on two feet. Upside to that, we get a lot more mobility. We look really cool. It's awesome. But on the downside, if you're a quadruped, it means that your heart and your head are at the same level. So you don't have to have a lot of extra machinery or extra sensors to help make sure that we're getting blood above our heart into our head. It just kind of is on a level. So when we stand up, we really ask that system to kick in and work so we can tell if the reaction time is too slow. We can tell if it doesn't respond enough. We can tell if it over responds and does too much. And by looking at that, it helps us to be able to pick out where in that neurocardiovascular system we may be experiencing a problem because that's the way that we can challenge it the best. And then we want to make sure that in addition to the challenge, we also put it back into that recovery system and see how the system recovers. Does it take a long time? Does it not recover back to a full baseline? Do we find that it shifts to a different problem where we might experience like pounding in the head or shortness of breath? So the way that it recovers is also important. So if you're having trouble with tachycardia, we really want to differentiate. Is it specific to standing up? Does it get worse when you're standing up? Does it get worse when you lay down? Or is it the same throughout all of them? And each one of those is its own individual problem that has its own individual solution. So I hope that helps. Leave us a comment. Let me know what you think about that. And be sure to share it if you know somebody that's kind of going through this too. And I'll be excited to talk to you again soon.